Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then the warmest of welcomes to you. I hope you're having a really great day. My name is Millie and today I am testing out a full face of e.l.f makeup. So there are some new things that are brand spanking new out of the packaging today, testing for the very first time. There are some old things that are firm favourites that I have raved about on my channel a million and one times and people are very bored of me talking about them. But full face of elf, let's just jump into trying on all of these products. So the first thing that I am going to be testing, I don't have a primer. Well, I do have a primer. Here's the story. I do have a primer. I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in Luminous somewhere in my house. I have been looking for like three days and I don't know where it is. So we are just skipping primer. I've done all of my skincare. So the very next step is foundation. So I did test out the new Camo CC cream. I have continued testing it. I don't think it's very good. So I picked up the Flawless Satin Foundation. I have this in the shade Pearl and this has all of the words on it that I love. It is flawless, it is satin, it's not meant to be really drying, it's meant to be quite hydrating, medium coverage, you know, just all the things that I really like. Um, did I say I got in the shade Pearl? I think I said, I might have not said, I don't know. But I think that that looks like an all right colour. It's still got plastic packaging on it, so I'll get into it and then I'll put some on my face. <laughs> so this is what the bottle looks like close up. It has got a pump on the top of it. I have no idea how much of this I'm going to need. One pump? Two pumps? Let's just see. So like I said, I have got my... Oh, what have I got on my face? I have got my normal skincare on. I don't have my normal primer on, which is the L'Oreal, because I've not tested this before and I want to see how it performs by itself. So let's do... Let's do it on the back of my hand. Okay, so that's two pumps it's very thick it might be a little bit pale for me <laughs> which is something that I don't often say so I've dampened my sponge and I will just get some on my sponge and see how it goes if you're wondering why I look very red today it's just because this room that I'm in gets very very warm in the morning it is currently still quite early in the morning um quite early it's like 11 o'clock <laughs> but the sun is still coming into this room so it's very warm in here at the minute and I can't have my windows open because I lead out onto a main road so I am very warm <laughs> and that is why I'm looking a little bit red but actually I feel like this colour matches me quite quite well considering we're just having to eyeball everything and like guess colours online and everything i feel like this looks okay i don't know what the claims were for this foundation but i feel like this is looking all right so this is two pumps it's all gone off the back of my hand now two pumps all over my face and i feel like that has given me a light coverage i would say that the coverage currently is similar to my l'oreal skin paradise one that claims to have light coverage I feel like I can still see all of my freckles I can still see the texture on my skin but it has just dulled down the redness but it's not an amazing level of coverage I feel like I am okay with this level of coverage because I like a light covering but if you were wanting a medium coverage i would say that you would need more than one layer i am just going to let this sit for a minute and then i will apply another layer so that you can see what that looks like i don't know if it claims to be buildable i will look that up but fairly happy with how that's looking it feels really comfy which is important to me so the claims on the elf website are lightweight and oil-free formula blends in naturally for a beautiful semi-matte finish which i don't like a matte finish but semi-matte 
I don't know, I might be okay with. Uh, the liquid foundation restores uneven skin textures and tones for visibly brighter skin. So with one coat, I would say it's definitely evened things out. It's definitely gotten rid of a lot of my redness that you could see before I had. But would I say that it's given me a medium coverage that it says on the bottle? No, I will apply another pump sort of across the midsection of like my cheeks and across my nose to see if I can build it up a bit like so it does feel really thick like it would give you a really full coverage but then it just doesn't give you the coverage I don't know it's it's weird okay so this is the second layer and I feel like it built up a little bit I would still only consider this like a light to medium coverage and that is coming from someone who likes a light to medium coverage so I am perfectly happy with how this looks but if you were wanting something that was medium but could be built up to more full coverage I don't think this would be for you I did put that extra layer across the middle of my face across my nose and across my cheeks and it has built up a little bit but you can still see all of my freckles you can still see a little bit of the redness but i'm okay with that it's just personal preference also ignore my sprouts back here there's not a lot i can do about them i'm afraid <laughs> so the next step is concealer and this is not a new one this is one that i know that i like this is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish and i have this in the shade fair beige this is a really really great concealer for quite a while i didn't use it i didn't really like it the first couple of times that i used it but I do I do I do like it. it it's okay it's it's not my favorite it's not one that I reach for all the time but I do enjoy it for under my eyes it is definitely more hydrating than a regular like it's more hydrating than the collection lasting perfection concealer it is probably on par with the conceal and hydrate one from revolution I quite like it the colors good for me it builds up a bit of coverage under my eyeballs personally i would use it on spots and you know any blemishes that were on my skin but if you are more oily or more on the normal side of skin then i would say that the regular camo concealer would probably be better for on the rest of your skin because it is hydrating and it is a little bit luminous in a way but because my skin is so dry <laughs> i like that okay so i'm happy with how beige i'm looking the next one that i wanted to talk about is one that i have spoken about quite a lot on my channel before this is the elf plump and prime lip primer i have don't think i've ever used the prime side but the plump side is really nice really hydrating why am i trying to talk while i do this <laughs> so it is a plumper it does make your lips tingle a little bit i like putting it on at this stage or sometimes i just wear this on its own and it just it's like a lip balm but it feels like it's doing something because it tingles it's starting to tingle now my lips will get progressively redder and i just like it as a preparation stage if i know that i'm going to be using lipstick or especially if i think that i'm going to be using something like a matte liquid lip at the end of my makeup then i like to put this on first it just feels really nourishing really really like that and i think it was like four pound fifty or something like that that's another thing that i really really like about elf everything is really affordable nothing is very very expensive i mean that foundation was like seven pound fifty i think bargain the concealer was like five pound I really really rate the price point i would say that the camo cc cream for 14 pounds wasn't worth it in my opinion from what i have tested but i really really like so much elf stuff so next up is another new item to me this is the putty blush in the shade bora bora i didn't realize that that was going to be quite so dark so i'm going to have to use this very carefully so on the back of this it says say hello to that island glow this lightweight but buildable putty to powder blush blends seamlessly into skin infused with argan oil and vitamin e this silky smooth buildable formula will give you a flushed from within glow and if that isn't what i aim for 
every single day, then I don't know what is. So it says, using the putty blush brush or clean fingers, gently pat over the apples of your cheeks, continue patting for a smooth, seamless blend. So I don't have that brush and I don't like using my hands if I don't have to. I have washed my hands, so I can if I have to, but it's not my favorite way of applying any sort of product really so i have got a brush it's just my real techniques i think this is like yeah buffing brush so it's quite a dense brush but i like using this for blush i've never tried a putty blush before but i am intrigued so that's the color has that got a plastic covering on it yeah we might be okay with that right i don't want it to be neon on my skin so i'm tapping in getting some all over my brush tap it off on the inside of my hand that color looks okay actually that looks like it'll be very hydrating i'm doing this first because i that now have powder products after this one and i wanted to get the blush out of the way because it's not a powder product oh that color's beautiful and that works really nicely with this brush. That colour is beautiful. That has blended out so easily. I'm just going to go back into whatever I've got on my hand. Try and pick that up on the brush for the other side. I didn't think that the blush that I'd got was this bright, but it actually looks beautiful on the skin. You can really sheer it out. And that almost gives a little bit of a glow as well because it's a, a putty consistency i really like that that does just look like a lip from within glow like it said on the packaging <laughs> i really like that blush i think that i will absolutely get my wear out of that and i feel like that's a really decent sized tub for the amount that you use of a blusher like i think that this will last me forever but that's a really really beautiful color i'm a big fan so next is another powder product that I have not tried before. This is the Sculpt and Shade Contour Palette. That's what that looks like. I will take it out of the packaging. It says, this powder contour palette holds four shades to mix and match for a custom and defined look. Directions using a sculpting brush, apply your chosen or custom bronzing shade to the sides of the nose, hollows of cheeks and jawline. Use a pointed brush to apply the highlighting shade down the center of the nose, over the cheekbones and brow bones. Blend the two shades together using back and forth motions until no harsh lines are visible. So this is your contour, this is your highlight. That's why I got this one so I didn't have to try and figure out a contour separately to a highlight. This is, I do believe, the light one. Yeah, light medium and then I think there was a medium dark. So that's what that looks like on the inside and on the back you can see, I think you can like pop these out and they might be like magnets so that you can pop them into your own thing. But those colours look perfect for my skin tone. I am exceptionally pale <laughs> as you might be able to see but i think that these will i think that these will be okay so i'm going to go straight into the darkest shade with a contouring brush and just try and put that under my cheeks i will just show you i've just tapped into that one once and it is kicking back a little bit i don't mind that that happens with a lot of powders it's to be expected with powders that doesn't bother me so that color i feel like it's throwing me off a little bit because i've already got my blush on but that color is nice i've done it a little bit low down <laughs> can we fix this that's blending really nicely over the top of that putty primer. I was worried that that wasn't going to blend in very well, but that has blended really, really nicely. I think that that has made a really nice contour shade for me. I would be happy wearing that. I'm going to put it into the hollows of my temples as well, across my forehead, you know, where I usually do. I'm not a big nose contour person but i have got a brush which is from elf yeah the elf contouring brush and it's like that one that what is it the eater brush 
that everybody has is that what it's called which is meant to be really good for nose contour i am not a nose contour kind of person but i'll give it a go so i just tapped into the product once and then tapped off the excess on the back of my hand because i don't want a brown nose funnily enough <laughs> have i messed up my face now blend 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 um I don't think I should do nose contour. I don't think I should do nose contour. <laughs> We're just going to have to ignore my nose, okay? Oh, that doesn't... <laughs> the whole point of nose contour is to make it look smaller. Didn't work for me. <laughs> so let's pop that nose contour brush back in my back in my little pot over there and let's never open that ever again. So that was completely my own fault. I cannot judge the product harshly. I am just no good at nose contour. So let's move on. The highlighter shade in the contour palette also looks right up my street. It looks as if, so this looks as if it will be a highlighter shade, like a matte highlighter shade. Yeah, that's sort of summit of nothing there yeah but this other one this one here looks like it will be very um hello that hasn't swatched sort of at all but let's give it a go so i'll tap into that it's very natural it is there it's just very natural I need a light on at this side now. The sun's just got in. I do apologise. I'm sorry, the lighting is hurling me today. This highlight is very natural. If that's your kind of thing. I can't say that it is usually my kind of thing. Now that I'm holding my head to the side, I can see I haven't blended that contour very well. Have I? Yeah, it's fine. If you want a really natural highlighter, then you might enjoy this. It's not generally my jam i like to be seen from outer space but that's what you like that's what you like and you'll probably like this that looks like it'll be a really really nice bronzer shade and that was just sort of nothing i'm happy with how this looks i am going to try and go back in with a little bit of this blush because i feel like it sort of blended it away a tiny bit so i'll tap back into that and just try and build that up a little bit in between to blend those back together so looking close up into my mirror that highlighter has just sort of picked up on some texture on the top of my skin which i don't necessarily mind if it's going to give me that scene from outer space highlight bling but it hasn't so not a huge fan of that but that contour looks really smooth it blended out really nicely the powder putty blush went on over the top just fine i am overall quite happy with how my face is looking so far so i will at this point just say that i do have the elf halo glow setting powder i'm not going to use it today because i feel like that foundation has sort of dried down to a semi-matte finish like it said it would funnily enough so i don't want to dry it down any further on my dry skin but if you have a really hydrating foundation on and you need to set it this is a really really great one probably my favorite setting powder that i've ever tried i can't think of one off the top of my head that i prefer over this one so well worth picking up if you have dry skin and you just want to glow all the time so that is all of my powder base products next is the setting spray i'm going to do it at this stage before i put any other products on so this is the illuminating mist and set i've had this for ages and it still feels really full and i've heard loads of people online say that this is a dupe for oh something else is it the all nighter i can't remember but I really, really rate this setting spray. I think you can get it in this mini size and you can get a bigger size, I think. But this is one that I've had forever and it's lasted me really, really well. It doesn't say on it how much is in the bottle, but really, really like it. I just like putting a setting spray on to, and it sort of melts everything back together and just makes it feel more comfortable on your skin. 
really really like this one i haven't tried any of the other setting sprays from elf but i rate this one my next honourable mention that I won't be using today but I wanted to mention is the Putty Eye Primer. I have the white shade. I use this all the time when I'm testing new eyeshadow palettes. It just blanks everything out. It's a really creamy formula so everything just goes on really really nicely over the top. Makes your eyeshadows, if you're doing a really bright look, makes it really pop. I do want to pick up, I'm going to sneeze, Ugh. I do want to pick up the like more skin tone version of this. My skin tone obviously for when I'm doing more neutral everyday sort of eye looks because I really really rate this for an eye primer. It dries sort of matte like that is that's quite matte on my hand now but I just really really like that eye primer but for the other products that I've got coming up I didn't want to use that today so the next product that I will be trying out is another new one this is the instant brow instant lift brow pencil in neutral brown it's got a spoolie on one end and then I think it's got like a micro like mechanical pencil on the other end yeah so just a spoolie on one end and then that is quite a thick tip for a pencil like this you can build it up to that or you can just have it quite sheer hmm, this might just work okay so this is it's a mechanical type pencil which i prefer but i feel like why is it always a motorbike going past i feel like as soon as you use this, like by the time I already get onto my second brow, this is going to be not blunt, but not as sharp as it is at the minute. So I'm not going to be able to get those hair-like strokes. It's a decent colour. I don't like a warm toned brow. I like quite a cool toned brow pencil, but I feel like they've missed a trick. They could have made this so much skinnier and more precise and then you could have got those little hair strokes in because already I am struggling a little bit to get those and it's looking a little bit blocky. I just feel like they've missed a trick, like they've got the whole pencil made to be a mechanical pencil. They could have made the actual product a lot slimmer and then I just feel like it would have worked a lot better. I mean, it's absolutely fine. I will use it. It's just, I feel like they've missed a trick by not making that really, really skinny. Just gonna quickly go through with my Revolution Pro volume and sculpt. Another no noisy motorbike going past. Is there any need? Yeah, brows are fine. I think that it is definitely improved with the brow gel on it but absolutely fine we'll use it we'll continue to use that so I don't have an eyeshadow palette what my plan was and what I am going to do why did I say it like that what I'm going to do is use the contour palette I might use the bronzer shade actually and then I've got a selection of my absolute favourites elf glitter I don't know why I've said yeah, elf this whole video is elf the liquid glitter eyeshadows these are my absolute babies I love every single shade that I've got but I wanted to do something sort of brown warm toned so here I have copper pop 24 karat gold flirty birdie and dirty martini i love dirty martini for all over the lid and then just blend it out so i think i'm going to use this one today because it's been quite a while since i used it the gold one i used quite a bit at christmas it's a very sort of festive shade copper pop again is a little bit more pink toned than dirty martini so that's copper pop on the top and dirty martini on the bottom they just they're so easy to use you put them on blend them out a little bit and you're done they're so intensely glittery they stay all day but then they come off really easily with like a cotton pad and a little bit of micellar water at the end of the day so i'm going to use dirty martini today it's a little bit darker a little bit more dramatic for sitting on the sofa for the rest of the day so i'm going to take just a big fluffy brush and put a little bit of this sorry 
a bit of this one that I'm hiding down here, a bit of the bronzer shade from the contour palette, just sort of buff that through my crease and sort of all over my lid just to prep it a little bit for the glitter because that will be the star of the show. So that bronzer shade has just warmed up my crease a little bit, made that eye base matte so that the glitter can go on over the top so i am going to prepare myself with a fluffy blending brush and then i will just swipe this on all over my lid this is almost like a khaki green color i really really love this one especially this one for an everyday but you still want to be glittery i find that i reach for dirty martini quite a lot so I'll just swipe it on all over the lid. See how pigmented that is? Do you see how pigmented that is? Like I say, it's like a khaki colour. It's beautiful. And then I sort of tap and swirl and blend. And it shears the colour out. Don't get me wrong, it absolutely does. But it's still... The glitter is still there. The glitter doesn't fall all over your eye. I sometimes just put this on the outer corner and build it up on the outer corner a bit. But today, I want it all over. <laughs> it's so quick and I can't get over how intensely glittery it is. You can of course go back over and add another layer if you want more color. I feel like that is okay for me. I've got my stopwatch up. I reckon it would take me a minute to do one eye, maybe less than that. So I have just pulled that out, dabbed off the excess because it does come out with a little bit on the end. Dabbed off the excess and I will swipe that on and start the timer at the same time and see how long it takes me because I bet it doesn't take me very long at all. So start. seven seconds and then I just need to <laughs> wipe off that I had to do it on the other side as well <laughs> because I get a bit eager blending but like a minute to blend out a whole eye look I think that's quite good so like I say I have I think I have every single color of these I reach for them all the time they are so intensely glittery i will be wearing spoiler alert i will be wearing the shade flirty birdie on my wedding day i just think that they are the most incredible product i can't get over how intensely glittery they are i really hope that it's showing up on camera how insanely glittery they are the shade dirty martini just has like gold bits of glitter in it flirty birdie which is the one that i'll be wearing for my wedding day has like glitter that's like silver and gold and it just shows up so it's soft but it's glittery it's blinding but it's subtle these are just these are the products that made me fall in love with elf because they are just so great they're just really really good eye products so the next product that i've got to try out and um, i have used this before but i can't remember what i think of it this is just the eyeliner pen in black i don't know what the claims are for this i might just look it up actually because i can't remember what i think of it i assume that i don't like it very much because it's just been sitting at the back of my makeup collection for probably about six months so oh it claims to be waterproof so if there's going to be a day to test its waterproofness it's going to be today because it's absolutely boiling and it's really sunny and my eyes always stream when it's bright and sunny so let's read it it says okay so the name of this is the waterproof eyeliner pen black and the description only says this eyeliner pen enhances the lash line with rich color but the name of it is the waterproof eyeliner pen so 
let's see and I will I'll watch something sad and make myself cry and see if it is actually waterproof but let's see how well it applies so I am admittedly pretty rubbish at winged eyeliner I am the first person to say that I am no good at it they never ever ever match but let's see what we can do with this okay so it is quite a dry formula but that may be because i've had it for quite a while it does sound like it's got a ball bearing or something in it so if i keep it upside down it may well work a little bit better next time because i'm fairly certain it was stood upwards so it might work better if i use it if i keep it the other way around but it's absolutely fine i will report back if it is waterproof or not can't make myself cry right at this moment in time but i i will i'll watch a sad film i'll watch marley and me i will um make myself cry and see if it's actually waterproof so i don't have a mascara so i will just go and apply one layer of mascara because you girls wearing lashes today which is completely out of character for me but i need a little bit of mascara on first so that is the mascara on like i said just one coat of mascara but i don't know i feel like it makes a difference anyway so these are i just run up the stairs one moment these are the elf natural lash multi-pack three sets of lashes and one tweezer so i might have to cut these i'm not a not a lash person normally so there's three sets are they different or are they the same they all look similar to me so i'll just use these ones i might have to cut those because they look like they might be a bit big for my face okay so i've got this pack of eyelow ones that i'm hoping comes with glue so i will take off one eyelash oh are they self-adhesive uh no it's just the glue from the packaging is sticking to the lash so what do i do about that then can you see that it's got the glue stuck to the lash but it won't come off i mean would that be dangerous to stick it on my eye like that <laughs> no <laughs> i'm not gonna do lashes the glue won't come off them that's attaching them to the tray the glue won't come off so i can't put my glue on because that just looks really clumpy and awful the glue that they've used to stick it onto the tray is lifting off with the eyelash so they're not usable so it's a no from me i will put on some more mascara <laughs> okay so that's my two layers of mascara on i am now just going to go in with a bit of that highlighting shade from the contour palette on more of a dense brush than that because i just want a little bit of brightness on my inner corner so let's see if that can do that it's definitely lightened it a bit it's not really reflective but it's fine I'll put a bit under my brow bone as well i mean i'd definitely rather go for something like this revolution one on my inner corner but you know what i'd also rather go for this all over my face <laughs> so there's that i am pleasantly surprised by everything so far generally been a few flops but but we're okay <laughs> so some lip products just to finish everything off so i have the seriously satin lipstick this is in the shade nectar and i'm just gonna put this all over i don't have a lip liner i would rather use a lip liner but i don't have one so this is a little bit more warm toned than what i would have liked but it's in a sort of peachy pinky nudie shade really really pigmented really really comfortable would definitely agree with the satin name it's definitely a comfortable satin finish rather than like a matte finish i don't generally like a really matte finished lipstick but i've had this for quite a while and i have used it a few times and it does does wear off but the color is really really easy to keep on applying and then lastly the last product that i wanted to talk about is the elf plumping why do i keep saying elf of course it's elf plumping lip glosses so here we've got the shade sparkling rose mocha twist and praline twist that around you'll actually be able to see the color and i really really rate these 
so these are like a lip gloss but they're pigmented so they do still give you colour. I'm going to use the pink shade so that you can see. They're really thick if I show you like that you can see. It's a really really thick consistency and it does give you some colour payoff. It is like a sticky gloss but if you just apply a thin thinnish layer then it's not overly sticky. Your hair's, hair's probably still going to get stuck in it but really really comfortable, really really glossy but gives you just that little bit of colour. I really rate these Hence, I've got, I've got another one. I've got like a champagne. I've got another one somewhere, but I've got three, four. So you can tell that I like them when I've got more than one shade. So this is my full look. It is currently 11 o'clock. So I'm going to do a check-in later on. I'm probably going to be going for a nice warm walk around the park because it is such a beautiful day. I really, really want to get out in it. So I will do check-ins so that you can see how everything looks. At the end of the day, I've lost an eyelash on my cheek. But so far, I'm really, really happy with how absolutely everything looks. I would prefer my brows to be a little bit darker only because <laughs> my blonde is so grown out that it just looks like I am brunette when I've got my hair up. <laughs> so I feel like I could do with a little bit of a darker brow. I really would have liked to try the lashes but obviously that just wasn't meant to be. But I'm really really happy with how everything's looking apart from my lack of highlight but I'm sure by the end of the day in this boiling hot heat I will have my own natural glow so I will check back in with you in five six seven hours let's see I don't know see where the day takes me <laughs> wow this hair looks this hair looks fantastic doesn't it anyway we're not here about the hair we're here about the makeup so it has been what time did I say it was before was it 11 well it's half past four now so that's five and a half ish hours and I still think that my face looks exactly the same as it did before I still wish I had more highlighter on even though I thought that maybe my oils would come out and it would make my skin look more glowy and even though it has been a really really hot day today and we went for a walk around the park and it was really really warm I was expecting to sort of get sweaty and for my face to sort of look a little bit more glowy by the end of the day and I do feel like it looks a little bit more glowy but I was expecting more which isn't necessarily a bad thing so normally I get really not oily because my skin's dry but I get glowy let's go with glowy I get glowy sort of around the middle of my face but I feel like this foundation has done quite a good job of keeping me set all day even though I didn't set the foundation. I also feel like this eyeliner has stayed really well because like I said we went for a walk and this is the first like quite hot day of the year so this is coming out on Monday and I'm filming this on the Saturday before so the date is the 27th of February. Even though it's February it's still like I feel quite hay fevery within myself so my eyes have been running and my nose has been running but I feel like the eyeliner has stayed quite well considering didn't really think that much of it when I applied it so with that in mind I probably would continue to wear this eyeliner but it's not the blackest it wasn't the easiest to use I'm definitely going to store it upside down so that the liquid goes into the nib more because I felt like the nib was quite dry but other than that it's stayed really really well so I can't complain about that. The glittery eyeshadow has stayed fantastic. I'm really impressed at how well the blusher has stayed on my cheeks because that's often the, you know the powders are often the first things to sort of wear off a little bit. The contour still looks absolutely fine. The highlight looked crap to begin with. The brows again didn't really like them to begin with but they've stayed pretty much the same so I can't complain about that and the lipstick has sort of worn off. I have been eating, I have been drinking sort of over the afternoon so it's not the most long lasting lipstick. It's not like the L'Oreal lip stains that I'm always talking about. It has worn off but it looks fine. My lips still feel very hydrated. They don't feel dry. It feels 
fine. I'm still quite happy with how it looks, even though the colour has sort of faded away. But other than that, I'm still really happy with how all of this is looking. I am sure that if I was to wear this for very much longer, I would still be happy with the result at the end of the night. I think that my skin still looks really nice actually so I'm a lot more impressed with this foundation than I was with the CC cream. I am still playing with the CC cream and I will do some sort of quick roundup video if I find a way of making it work for me because I know that I've seen a lot of videos where the people use a brush I have tried to use a brush. I don't know if I specifically need the e.l.f. brush. I don't know, but this worked really, really well with a sponge, which is my favourite way of applying the sort of base products anyway. So, yeah, if there's any other brands that you want to see this from, I think I've nearly got a full face of L'Oreal. I also want to do Maybelline. I think I've got quite a lot of Maybelline. Revolution, I could absolutely do a full face of. I'm obsessed with Revolution and um, I definitely have a full face. So if that's something that you want to see, then please leave it in the comment section down below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.